I'm back at the Secor Dam. You can see it over my shoulder here. And let me turn the camera around. You can't really see it, but sheet pile has been finished being drove over there on that side of the dam. And they are starting to work on driving the sheet pile over here on this side of the dam. We'll take a look up there very shortly, but just a quick update on the live camera. Uh, everything's pretty much ready to go. All we're doing is waiting on Charter Spectrum internet to get hooked up now. And I do see the Spectrum trucks over there right now. So they're going ahead trying to get the internet to that pole right there. So sometime in January, we should be able to get that camera installed and make it live. But you know, there's always delays. Uh, we just finished building our house and we had delays with getting the power hooked up as well as the internet hooked up. So it's no different here. Um, no one's at fault on my end or here at the Four Lakes Task Force. It's just working with these larger corporations trying to get things uh, moving ahead. And actually, if we would have been able to use the existing uh, internet here as well as the power that was here on the uh, powerhouse, we would have been able to get this installed a lot sooner. However, you can see all the power has been removed from the powerhouse and all of that is being shifted over to that side of the dam because of all the work that is ongoing here. And that was one of the major delays is when they were going ahead driving that sheet pile in there, uh, really couldn't go ahead and trench in any of the power or deal with any of that internet when all these giant cranes were sitting up there. I do also want to give a big thanks to my new patrons, Simon and Jerry. So thank you for all your support. If anyone wants to go ahead and support me, you can check out the coffee link in the description down below or my Patreon account or PayPal. Let's go ahead now. Let's head on up to the top of the earthen embankment and check out the work that's going on here. Before we head back up to the top of the earthen embankment, I'm gonna jump into a little bit of this drone video here. Uh, the drone is about 50 feet here, uh, facing towards the west, northwest. See a great view of the Titibuasi River flowing through the Secor Dam and a lot of that sheet pile over on the left hand side that has been finished being drove in the ground now. We'll keep flying over here a little bit further to the west and actually just start to see uh, that live camera pull coming into view now. And at the time of me filming this voiceover, we are still waiting for a charter spectrum to get the internet over there to the pole, uh, get that on site before I can go ahead and get that camera installed. Uh, and make that live. So up here at probably 300 feet in altitude, dropping down now, you can see all they work over here on the east side of the dam, uh, that roadway that was working on being built the last time I was out there on site has now been established, a lot of that riprap uh, in place so that they can go ahead and start installing the sheet pile on the east side of the dam. We'll keep flying down this earthen embankment and you can see uh, where it ends here on the east side. This is where this will be extended all the way down uh, the rest of the way to the roadway. See a little bit of the items that are staged over here on site. A couple sheets of that sheet pile and the other crane uh, that they usually use to hoist up the vibratory hammer onto the sheets to drive those in. Now flying back west down the earthen embankment again and you know the next time I'm out here on site again, uh, we'll be able to see how much sheet pile has been drove in the ground right here in this earthen embankment over here on the east side now. You can see the old substation where that used to be in this fenced in area and a couple of the items that had been removed from the powerhouse over there on the left hand side, the old turbine. So pretty interesting seeing some of that. You'll see a little bit more of that on the ground video uh, to be able to see those items a little bit closer but now flying here uh, in front of the dam, you can see the water, a little bit closer view flowing over the top of the Secord Dam and where they have it barricaded off so that the water is not going underneath the powerhouse so that they can go ahead and work on that low level outlet. The temperature was about 40 degrees when I was out here, so no ice buildup, but that will be happening very soon. I'm up here on the earthen embankment. You can see they have the large crane over here and the smaller crane way down there on that end. They're gonna start driving sheet pile maybe later today. And there, over there on the other side of the dam, you can see the sheet pile over there that has been finished being drove in. 
looks like they have the first couple started right here. And last time I was here, they were actually making this pad, putting this riprap down in the gravel so that they could go ahead and bring this crane out here to start driving that sheet pile. Uh, the sheet pile will be relatively straight. Uh, where the emergency spillway is going to be uh, going over the top of this earthen embankment, there will be a d few different angles but for the most part, it's gonna go straight down this direction. And right now they're evaluating if they can have both of these cranes on this pad. They're trying to use this crane to go ahead and set the sheet pile, and then use the other one to go ahead and drive them in the rest of the way. It would speed up the progress in the process quite a bit, uh, getting these drove in. In regards to the emergency spillway, that's still pretty much going to be the same plan. So it'll be about from where that culvert is there all the way over to the power pack coming over the top of the emergency spillway. Coming around where, right where the old substation used to be in all these trees and then coming back down and joining back up with the Tidabwasi River. They're going to start bringing in a little mini concrete plant here too because that is going to be a lot of concrete that needs to be uh, mixed and made right here on site to keep things moving but that will be the next step after the sheet pile is finished being drove and down here we're not going to get to see it today but there has been a little bit of work on the low level outlet so progress is also happening inside of the powerhouse all right let's head on over now we'll take a little peek down into the dam and then we'll go check out the sheet pile on the west side of the dam over there. Here's the drone view looking down the sheet pile over here on the west side of the dam. You can kind of see the shape that it took place and a little bit of that pad where that crane uh, used to be sitting while they were driving in the sheets over here on this side of the dam. We'll go around, we'll swing around the back side. You can see the water flowing through bay one uh, bay two is got its tanner gate in the closed position and then the stop logs preventing the water from entering the powerhouse so that they can go ahead and work on that low level outlet see they have the ice eaters the uh, blower fans going uh, disturbing the water here behind the dam so that it doesn't ice up like i said uh, at the time i was out there there was no ice but now uh, we are starting to get into our pretty cold temperatures now in January, so next time I am out there, I'm sure there will be a decent amount of ice buildup. Uh, mostly this occurs in the front of the dam where that concrete supports are stretching across. Uh, we'll take the drone all the way up to 400 feet in altitude now, and you guys will be able to see the view from way up here. I always do this every time so that you're able to see uh, the site in its entirety as well as you can see a little bit of the uh, lake bed and you guys also know I love getting this shot every time I'm out there starting on the other side of the bridge of Secord Dam Road and flying right up here to the front side of the dam. We'll also take a closer look to the repair that was made to the retaining wall over there on the left hand side. This was one of the very first uh, items that was completed here on Secor Dam a couple years ago. Get a close shot of the water flowing through that Bay 1 uh, exiting the Secor Dam spillway. And then that Tainer Gate over on the right hand side you can see is in its lowered position keeping the water from going through uh, that Bay 2 area. Over here on the west side of the dam now see all the sheet pile these were just being drove in the last time I was out here and see all of that work complete now take a quick peek down here on this side so you can see power company cable company is going ahead trying to get stuff installed over here to the pole so hopefully that work progressives pretty fast um, they were using 60 foot sheet pile sheets over here on this side you can see it looks like they drove them down mostly to 50 feet and then uh, over here on this side I think he said they were using 55 uh, foot sheets so these ones are all drove down in the rest of the way you can see they kind of just come around here through the earthen embankment and here is a shot overlooking 
Secord Lake, or what's left of Secord Lake, up to the north, with the Titabwasi River flowing down this direction to the south. We're back to the south side of the dam, uh, in front of Secord Dam, and you can see again over on the right-hand side those sandbags in place, keeping the water from flowing uh, underneath the powerhouse where this low level outlet is being worked on. So I just took the drone and got a little bit closer view. I also do want to mention that there's always a lot of people that ask what equipment that I use uh, to edit videos, to film these videos. Make sure you check out the links in the description down below uh, this video. I always post all the equipment that I am using with links to Amazon. Uh, it's a huge help if you guys are interested in purchasing anything from Amazon. If you do, go ahead and click those links and purchase something from Amazon within 24 hours of clicking that. Uh, they do kick a small portion of the proceeds back to the channel. So just another way to help out. Here in this view, you can again see the repair that was made to the west side retaining wall uh, a couple years ago. You see all those pink dots up on the left-hand side of that retaining wall. Uh, those are the prisms that they can keep an eye on and measure to make sure the retaining wall is not moving. There are actually quite a few of these out here on site spread all over the dam that they are keeping an eye on to make sure that there is no movement uh, in the dam itself, as well as they do keep an eye on the earthen embankment. Here's a great shot of the crane as I keep gaining an altitude. So here's the view from the top of the dam. Tainer Gate is open on this bay, letting that water flow down the river. And this Tainer Gate is in the closed position yet. You can see the water flowing down to the Bwasi River in that direction. And then taking a look here, you can see those stop logs are still in place for the work that is happening down there with the low level outlet. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, head back to the truck now, throw the drone up in the air. Here's a view from the drone, again, all the way up at 400 feet in altitude. We might be at 300 feet in altitude, somewhere around there, and you can see uh, the top of this crane I'll be checking out shortly. Thought it was an interesting perspective looking straight down at the top of this dam from this height, though. Also, I do want to mention if anyone wants to send me anything through the mail, I'll pop my P.O. box up on the screen right now. I did get a very interesting and cool package from someone uh, that actually used to work on the Sanford Dam. Uh, they were an old operator, so they actually sent me their hat as well as a shirt. So definitely cool little items like that. You know, I've been sent quite a few historical items. I'm keeping a lot of this stuff preserved for the history of these dams. Again, this is a large uh, reason of why I'm still going out there and documenting and vlogging uh, the progress of rebuilding this dam. Uh, we might not be able to see uh, this really repeat. Hopefully we don't see something like this repeated again in the history, uh, but to actually see dams rebuilt in this day and age is a rarity and I find it extremely important uh, to document this. Great shot again here behind the dam looking down the earthen embankment over here on the east side. See a little bit more of the lake bed and the stumps out there on the left hand side of the frame as well. And then in this shot, this was actually over on Wixom Lake. Just felt like including this bald eagle here at the end. This wasn't on Secord Lake. Again, this was over on Wixom Lake, but definitely a cool shot. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below. As always, I just want to give a massive thanks to the people who support me on Patreon. Never underestimate the value of your contribution to keeping this channel going. Thank you.